Okay, so this is combustion. Uh, from the text, let's see what it says. Hi, come in. Doing a combustion problem. Welcome. So from the text, this says, oh yeah, to solve it, all the beam is a carbon, hydrogen, sulfur compound. Yield CO2, H2O, and SO2 at these amounts on the board. What's the empirical formula? So in this case, we have sulfur that we don't expect. So we're going to have an X, a Y, and a Z. In this case, we have sulfur. As long as there's no oxygen, it doesn't, it, this is solving normally. There's nothing crazy. What you need to do, and I'll just do an overview here, you need to change this to moles of carbon, change this to moles of hydrogen, and change this to moles of sulfur. So in this example, I can give the numbers. The numbers for the moles of carbon you should get is 0 0.0619, and for moles of hydrogen should be 0. 0.0619 and for sulfur should be 0 0.0155. Is that what you got so far? I got the hydrogen right, but for carbon I got 0 0.2267. Uh, so you for carbon did you divide by the mole mass? Hi, welcome. Uh, 44.01. Wait. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I did the opposite. Yeah, yeah. You need to make yeah. sure when you change to from ma mass to mole, use CO2 and an H2O and an SO2 here. Three. So you get these moles, and so we got this is X, this will be Y, and this will be Z. What you're going to do, you have X, Y, and Z according to the law of multiple proportions. You need to divide by the smallest, which will be the 0 0.155. And in this case, you're going to get, uh, you should get a 4, a 4, and a 1. So we'll check that that's true. Yep. So thiophene is going to be C4H4S. And you wouldn't know this till later in the course, but I believe the structure is something like uh, this. Something like that. Okay.